Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, you're gonna see some thrift with me portions as well as some what sold video clips. So I hope you enjoy that. We're in my room that I have been using for my whatnot sales. Um, I really like having this spare room to use. I used to do them in my basement and the lighting wasn't that great. So it's really been working out. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. I had another sale on eBay and it is a little lot of Limoges China. Probably gonna have to dig around in here to find it. So let me do that and I'll show you what sold. It is this little berry bowl and teacup. These are Theodore, Theodore Haviland Limoges China beautiful rose pattern it looks like a saucer in a cup but it's not it's a little bowl and a cup so i sold them together as a lot for 1935 plus shipping i had a sale on whatnot last night i had a a show and i sold one item and it wasn't one of my auctions it was in the buy it now section Somebody purchased it during my sale. And it's this little Christmas tree. It is, it does have a little chip there, which I noted, but it does work. I think it's a Mr. Christmas Christmas tree, really cute. So they bought that for $8 because it's Christmas and they bought a Christmas item. I decided to give them this for free. It's a vintage made in China resin magnet. So I thought that would be nice to give her as a free gift. So I'm gonna get this wrapped up and mailed out. It is December 22nd, three days till Christmas. Hard to believe. So I found another owl figurine. This one is Home Co. It only sells for about $8, so I decided not to grab it. There was a squirrel, or is that a chipmunk? It was broken though. I saw this and my grandmother's name was Connie. That's why it stuck out to me. I thought this doll was so cute. If it wasn't so close to Christmas, I may have grabbed her. I'm kind of regretting that. This is a Indiana glass tray, which I had never seen before, but it only sells for about 20, so I left it. With these Corel cups, I initially grabbed them, but put them back. The prices are all over the place for those on eBay. Then I spotted these mugs. These are Cuthbertson made in England, the original Christmas tree. I've sold plates in this pattern before, they usually sell really quick. So I grabbed both of these mugs. They either charge me 99 cents each or 59 cents each, I can't remember. And I also saw these Longa Burger mugs, these really big pedestal mugs. So I got those two as well. At first I thought this was for an aquarium, but then realized it's a wall pocket with the fish. I thought it was really cool, most likely made in Japan. Did have a lot of crazing, but I grabbed that. And then I found some pottery. This is marked Sondal, and this is a nice candle holder. I also saw a very large pitcher right there, and that was also marked Sondal pottery.
had another sale on eBay and it is a um, lot of vintage Christmas books. They were like annual mag magazines put out. I believe starting in the 30s or 40s. I don't remember when they stopped printing them or if they did stop. But I actually featured these in a rec recent video. So you may remember them. I'll put a picture up on the screen. But I sold a lot of 20 of them for $59.99 plus shipping. So it is December 23rd. Still selling Christmas. Anyway, I will let you know if I sell anything else. The first thing I saw was this big Christmas elf who I thought was kind of creepy. It is from Hobby Lobby. Sometimes they sell well on eBay, but it looked like the prices were all over the place. This little ornament was so cute, but it had a lot of paint loss. I took it originally, but I, I ended up putting it back later. I was trying to find some vintage Christmas and I spotted this wreath that I thought might be the loose site or acrylic. It's really pretty, but it only sells for about 18 to 20 dollars on eBay and it, they wanted four dollars. I just didn't feel like taking it. I think I originally put it in my cart and ended up putting it back. I was having trouble finding anything and this Goodwill had a weird smell so I wasn't really enjoying my time here. This is a little blue pottery bowl. I do like pottery, but there was no marking on the bottom. So I decided to leave it. Look, somebody put a little clown in the baby's basket. There's a cute owl, but it is contemporary. So I didn't think there was much value there. I was just not having much luck here. I saw this little squirrel covered dish, which is pretty cute. There were some online for about $50, but they weren't selling for $50. This was an interesting decor piece with all the shells. I'm not sure what it was supposed to be. And this was a pretty glass ornament that looked hand painted, but it was made in China. So I saw this cute little snowman candle holder and I thought it was adorable, but they wanted $4 and I didn't think I would be able to make that much with that. Here's a bag of ornaments I was looking at, but they are made in China. I always love coming to this Goodwill. They always have a lot of things on the shelves and I generally always find some good things here. So I was so excited to be able to come here again. It's kind of farther from my house, and so I don't get to come here that often. I seem to be really drawn to pottery lately. I really get excited when I find a nice piece of signed pottery. So that's definitely up on my list of things to look for lately. I was having a lot of fun looking through everything. I wish I kind of looked at some more of those fake plants. I need some more of those in my home. I wish I didn't overlook them. Here is a really cute Czechoslovakia creamer. Love the colors on that. So that's the first item I put in the cart. I noticed this hobbyist piece of a dog. It's really cute. It wasn't painted that well, so I decided to leave it. And then something caught my eye. It was a cute little vintage teapot, but I did not take that. And I saw this interesting elephant, I believe. Um, it felt really cheap though. I spotted another teapot. This is Department 56, a nursery rhyme teapot. It probably would have been worth the money, but it had some damage and a lot of the blue paint coming off. So that was a shame, or I would have taken that for sure.
Then I came upon some really cute figurines. This one is an angel with some raccoons, but she's missing her wings, sadly. But right next to her was another one, and she had two owls, and she had her wings. I thought it was just so cute, so I did grab that. Then I found this adorable rain gauge. It was a gnome with some mushrooms. I thought it was so cute. So I definitely took that. I always love the blue aisle. It's just one of the colors I'm drawn to. I see that basket there I didn't look at, but that base was modern. I really was just not finding a whole lot. Not a lot of things jumping out at me. Here's one of those vintage reamers in clear glass. I didn't grab that. I did find two pottery pieces right at the end, which I really like. They're both signed pottery jars. And then I noticed these really cool vintage Santa candle holders. They are marked Japan on the bottom. And there was a set of two. This I thought might be Peggy Carr, but it was not, but it was still very pretty. And then I saw this glass plate, the poinsettia, and I thought that was really nice. And that was the color of the day, purple. So I only paid $2. This was a cute little snowman planner I grabbed right at the end too. So here's my haul from this Goodwill. I had another sale on eBay and it is this vintage Shawnee pottery planter. Um, I took an offer for $10 plus shipping. So I'm going to get that wrapped up. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve, but sales are still coming in. I had a whatnot sale last night on December 23rd and I sold three um, or I had three orders from that sale. The first is this vintage spaghetti trimmed Santa bank made in Japan. He is really fun. He has some condition issues, um, to, but he sold for $12. I also sold this cast iron trivet hand painted. That sold for $6. And then I sold this really fun pair of Santa handle stick holders. These I just thrifted yesterday and put them right into my whatnot sale for last evening. And they are actually made of paper mache and made in Japan. They are just awesome. They sold during my whatnot sale for $25. So I had a nice little group of orders. Um, my next whatnot sale will be the Tuesday evening after Christmas. So I gotta get these wrapped up. I had another sale on eBay and it's these Christmas mugs I just bought the other day. Let me pull them out and I'll show you them. If you remember, I bought two of these Cuthbertson original Christmas tree mugs, and they've already sold on eBay um, for $11.59, I think, plus shipping. I'll put the price on the bottom of the screen if I'm wrong. So yeah, quick flip. If you do run into this original Christmas tree made in England, either serving dishes, mugs, anything, like that. I would suggest picking it up if it's a cheap enough price because they always sell really fast for me. 
So that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, could you give it a thumbs up? And I will see you in the next one. Bye.